Next topic is converting a DFA to regular expression. That is finite automata to regular expression conversion. We are converting a finite automata to regular expression. If we are having a automata, you need to find out the corresponding regular expression. Okay. So, we can uh, use two methods, either Arden's theorem or state elimination method. In this video, I am going to explain you state elimination method. Because for the competitive examination, sometimes if we are using Arden's theorem, uh, Arden's theorem is just substituting some equations like that. Okay. If the equation is big means it will take more time. So, this is simple method compared to this one. Okay, but for the university examination, it may be asked, uh, they may ask prove using Arden's theorem. Okay, convert using Arden's theorem. If it is asking like this, you need to use Arden's theorem only for converting regular ex finite automata to regular expression. Otherwise, you can use any method. So, in this video, I am going to explain you about how to convert finite automata to regular expression by using state elimination method. Okay, so in this method, we need to follow some rules. First one is, if a f initial state, if we are taking any initial state and if there is any incoming edge, so this is a starting state, right? So towards the starting state, one edge is coming, one incoming edge is there. Okay, this is outgoing edge from starting state and this is the, this is an edge coming towards the initial state or starting state. So according to state elimination method, you need to check if the initial state Ha, uh, should have any incoming edges you need to create a new initial state so i am creating a new initial state on epsilon movement to the existing initial state okay so you need to create a new initial state okay because here a is the initial state towards the initial state one edge is coming okay so as per this rule uh, incoming sorry initial state should not have any incoming edges Okay, if any edge is coming towards the initial state, you need to create a new starting state. New starting state on epsilon mode. Okay, second, so we told about incoming state towards the initial state. And what about the outgoing edge from final state? So, according to the second rule, two things about uh, final state. The, in DFA, in the given automata, there should contain only one final state and no outgoing edges. Okay, so if there is any outgoing edge from the final state, we need to create a new final state on epsilon move. It is from the B is a final state here. From the final state B, you can see an outgoing edge. An edge is going outside. Okay, so we need to create a new uh, uh, final state. Okay, this become non-final then. Okay, on epsilon move. Okay, and if there is more than one final state, so here, suppose this is an example DFA, here you can see two final state. If there are more than one final state, you need to create a new final state on epsilon move. So I am combining these two states, creating a new final state on epsilon move. So the existing states become, this is C, this is D. It's okay. So this uh, in this existing final state become non-final state and on epsilon move we created a new final state there should not be any outgoing edge from the final state there should be only one final state in the dfa okay so other than initial state and final state all the intermediate state we need to eliminate that is the third rule so other than initial state or starting state and final state eliminate the remaining step one by one in any order so in any order you can eliminate one by one every steps in between starting state and the final state so these are the three rules first one is should not have any incoming edge towards the starting state if there is any incoming edge towards the starting state we need to create a new starting state on epsilon okay if there is any outgoing edge from the final state create a new final state on the uh, on epsilon move if there are more than one final state create a new final state on epsilon move after that, eliminate all the intermediate state in between starting state and final state in any order one by one. So, we can see with one example. Just, so if I want to find out the regular expression first to see, is there any, any incoming edge towards the starting state? No, there is no edge coming towards starting state. No outgoing edge from final state. Only one final state is there. And we need to eliminate intermediate state. Here, no intermediate states are there. So, Q0 on A goes to Q1, accepting. It will accept either A or B or C. So, the regular expression is A or B or C. 
so next problem is this one a starting state final state no incoming edge towards a no outgoing edge from final state and there is only one final state so we can follow the third rule that is eliminate the intermediate state in between starting and final state if i am eliminating this one it indicates a then if i am eliminating b means if we are eliminating any state b it should not be it should not affect any path okay a then any number of b is followed by c so we can write a b star c self loop means any number of b zero or more number of b so a b star c is the regular expression okay then find this problem starting state final state but towards the starting state we can see a incoming edge if there is any incoming edge towards the final state then we need to create a new starting state if i am taking this final state we can see an outgoing edge from the final state okay so here i created a new starting state since the starting in the start if we are taking the starting state we can see one incoming edge if there is any incoming edge towards the starting state we need to create a new starting state on epsilon move that's why i created a new state on epsilon move okay if there is any outgoing edge from final state we need to create a new final state okay so from this from final state we created a new final state on epsilon move so c is the final state here but we created a new final state here because we can see an outgoing edge from the final state okay so after that except the starting state and final state we need to eliminate all the intermediate state if i am eliminating b you can see this is epsilon and it is accepting a single zero okay a single zero is a to c epsilon into zero is epsilon followed by zero means zero so a to c you can see a zero transition then if i am eliminating b you can see one zero one zero one zero right okay if i am eliminating b you it should not affect the path okay so we in c there may be many number of one followed by zero it is not zero followed by one from c it is one then zero one zero so it c it is one zero then this one. if i am eliminating this one it should not affect the transition okay zero followed by one zero zero or more number times so one zero the whole step zero one zero the whole step okay so this is a regular expression for this particular problem let's see another example if there is no incoming edge towards the starting state there is no outgoing edge from the final state but here there are more than one final state if there is more than one final state we need to create a new final state on epsilon move okay so i created a new so here these are the final state so i create i am going to create a new final state create a new final state on epsilon move so except starting and final state we are eliminating states one by one so a if i am deleting c you can see a path from b to f through c on b and epsilon so if i am eliminating this the path still exists okay that is b followed by epsilon that is b b if i am eliminating d you can see this path c followed by epsilon that is c if i am eliminating e if i am eliminating e there will be a path d followed by epsilon that is d so either it will accept b or it will accept c or it will accept d okay so a if i am eliminating a we can see a followed by b or c or d okay so a followed by a followed by either b or c or d that is b or c or d b plus c plus d either it will accept a b or a c or a d either it will accept a b or a c or a d so this is a regular expression for this particular dfa so this is another problem while taking the starting state you can see one incoming edge if any incoming edge is there you need to create a new starting state on epsilon move right then any outgoing edge from here no outgoing edge from final state and no not more than one final state okay now we can eliminate each state one by one okay so i am eliminating a first if i am eliminating a from q0 to b if i am eliminating a the remaining states are q0 b and c okay i am eliminating a still this path exists 
that is epsilon into b that is b if i am eliminating a you can see a b a b towards b okay so you can draw a b okay then c then d so this indicates either it will take the loop c or it will take the loop a b okay so we can write q not on b this is b c or a b then d okay if i am eliminating this thing we can see q not and c only okay that is b followed by any number of c or a b then followed by d okay so this is our regular expression C plus A B the whole star in duty. This is C. C plus A B the whole star in duty. This is a regular expression for this particular problem. And another problem, different problems are here. So here also you can see outgoing edge from final state, incoming edge towards. This is the initial state and final state same, right? So if I am taking the initial state, you can see one incoming edge towards the initial state. If there is any incoming edge towards the initial state, we need to create a new initial state on epsilon mu. If there is any outgoing edge from final state, we need to create a new final state on epsilon mu. Okay, so new final state on epsilon mu. Then we can eliminate the states one by one. Here you can see, here if I am deleting b, you can see a zero star one zero star one. Okay. That is one zero star one, one followed by any number of zeros followed by one, one followed by any number of zeros followed by one. That is either zero or one zero star one. Okay, if I am eliminating this one, see either zero loop or one zero star one loop. Okay, so you can write zero or one zero star one. Okay, that is Q S. Then epsilon, then a. This loop, then followed by epsilon. This is c. If I am eliminating this one, if I am eliminating this one, this is self loop. So any number. So zero or one zero star, one the whole star. Epsilon is nothing. Okay. So this is a regular expression for this particular problem. just to find out the regular expression for this particular problem you try to do by yourself okay then fi final answer i will show you just find out the answer okay you need to try by yourself then only you will uh, try to you will find out the answer you will get this particular regular expression